Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and welcome to our Module 5 in our video series on how to be able to start your home care company. Our goal in this video series is to give you every information that you need to have from being able to start your home care company. All the way from the beginning parts of things, how to be able to make a decision, should you open up your own home care company, should you do it home based, should you do it you know, by getting an office space or should you actually franchise. We're going to give you all the information in this full video series so that you can go ahead out there and start your own home care company. In module five, what we're going to talk about is financing your business because we have to agree in one thing is that it is going to cost some money in order to be able to answer and to be able to create this company of yours. It will take some amount of money. And here's the thing, it's up to you what you wanna be able to spend. You can go ahead and say, you know what, this is all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend this much amount of money, and then you can budget yourself to create that. And at the same time as you can go ahead out there and spend a lot of money in order to be able to start your agency, it all depends. In the end, once you get your license, it's all about putting the time and the effort out there. So whether you wanna start off a home-based business to save some money or you wanna be able to invest in a franchise. Either or, it's about creating actions and doing the things necessary to be able to get you, your business running. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about financing your business. So the criteria for borrowing. Finding funding is a challenge for every new business owner. Before you get too excited about borrowing money, realize that although financial institutions are in the business of lending money, they are not in the business of taking risks. They usually have some basic and conservative guidelines that they follow, what we call a general rule of thumb about how much, okay? So let's talk about the startup capital and operating capital. Um, now, just to, as a segue, before we had this module right here, we talked about what? Creating a feasibility study, creating a business plan. Why do we do those two things in the past two modules? Because you actually need that in order to be able to get a loan from a bank. So let's talk about startup capital and operating capital, right? If you are considering a home care business and need money, what you are looking for first is startup capital. Capital in business means money. Funding needed to run a business to keep it going once started is called operating money or working capital. So you need to be able to know those two different terms right there. Startup capital and operating capital are treated separately for the purposes of business finances. Begin to think about them separately now, each one representing a different stage in your business development. So startup capital. Startup capital is the total amount of money you need to open your doors for business and to keep them open until sufficient revenue can be relied on. So these are, you know, before you can get your licensing, you might need money to be able to hire a lawyer or a paralegal or a separate company that can take care of your incorporation, whether you're an LLC, you're an s -Corp, your corporation, your self-proprietorship, whatever you're doing. You might have to spend some money on application fees with the state. Depends on the state that you're in. You might have to you know, decide to buy some office equipment. You might decide to be able to invest, to be able to get a phone line, to be able to get internet running, you know, so to get a fax machine if you need to. So there's a lot of startup capitals that's needed in order to be able to start your, end your business, right? Now, operating capital is the amount required to keep the business going after the startup, meaning that once everything is there, you're approved, now you need money to be able to maintain yourself. Okay, so if you're starting up a new company, you may still be working for the current company you're working with full time and then investing some amount of time into your new company that you're trying to build up. But you will need some operating capital to keep it open. Let's say, for example, you have a lease on a facility. Once you start working, you need to be able to bring in money, okay, or have money set aside to be able to handle the day-to-day -day operation until you become fluid, until you start having money or revenue coming in. So it includes your salaries, the wages, the rent, expenses, supplies, utilities, advertising, depreciation, as well as interest payments. Interest payments meaning, let's say you got a loan, right? 
So funding sources for setting up your business. Many individuals initially do not have sufficient cash on hand to meet startup costs and operational expenses to carry them to their first year while the business is being built up. So, you know, family, business associates, shareholders, um, mortgaging a home, drawing on savings, borrowing against life insurances, using credit cards to get cash, selling personal asset assets or selling investments are probably good sources to be able to figure out or pull from in order to be able to start your own company. Now, going back again, so what can you do right now? So talking about the family, right? So can you borrow from family members, from your great aunt who has money, from your uncle, from your cousin, from your father, from your mother, from your grandparents, where can you get money? I would always try to go to that first. Now, just to give you guys a background, when I first started in this industry, how we bootstrapped ourselves to be able to start our first company was that I was working 50 hours a week. You know, I would work night shift to be able to make, you know, make money and then at the same time it's allowed me to be able to put my time and effort um, for my overtime, let's say, during the day for the company that I was building. Okay, so, you know, that's how I found money and was able to set money aside as we were trying to build the company up. And so, it all depends on what's going to be able to work for you and how you be able to handle that. Now, if none of those that we discussed are feasible or desired, financial institutions can be approached for short-term or even long-term loans. Examples of financial institutions include your commercial banks, the credit unions, factoring companies, trade credits, commercial finance companies, insurance and trust companies, as well as maybe getting an SBA or what we call a you know, SBA loan. Um, there's community future development corporations as well. Um, and there's angel investors out there if you, if you can get them to invest into your company. Let's look at the types of financing available. Um, and it's good to be able to discuss this because if this is the route that you're taking, you should know a little bit about you know, the different types of financing out there. So you have equity financing, right? Equity means ownership. With equity financing, a lender makes money available for use in exchange of an ownership share in your business. This could be a silent or a limited partner or a shareholder. So whether equity financing is possible or a good option depends on the business structure and relationships between you and the lender. So, you know, when I decided to start uh, opening up other companies, that's when I started sharing some equity into the company. So, for example, my one company that we opened up, my sister came along and she wanted to invest in the company. Obviously, I handled the day-to-day -day operations and she was the one who just took care of a lot of things in the backgrounds. And Right now, for example, there are several companies that uses us to be able to help them with their marketing uh, targets. And if since they're not able to uh, put a large payment down for our organization at times, what it is is they've given us equity to their company, which allows us to be part owner of the company and to be able to help out with their, you know, with their marketing and their sales of their of their products and services out there. And so that right there um, allows them to be able to save some money, but at the same time as give equity towards us. And if we can actually help their organization increase, bring in new patients, bring in new clients, increase their census, that in turn allows us to be able to make money as well. There's debt financing. With debt financing, the lender charges interest for the use of or rental of loan but does not get a share of equity of the business. Debt financing is familiar to most people because it is the basis of most personal credit, right? So this is your credit line. You know, a line of credit, which is very common in business, is a type of debt financing with a line of credit, a bank gives a business an upper limit to which it can borrow for a set interest rate. Now, you have collateral and security, right? Collateral is what you have to put up to secure a loan. This security reassures the bank or other lender that if circumstances make it possible or make it impossible for you to repay, the lender has the right to take some identified item that covers at least part of the value of your loan. As you consider different kinds of financing and research what is available, pay attention to the collateral each requires. So, you know, if you say to me, Michael, I want to put a collateral and put my house as a collateral, I would always tell people, I said, you, you want to think twice about that. Now, look. You know, you putting your house as collateral um, can all of a sudden burn the ships and make you want to be able to work hard and make sure that you create a successful company. 
but at the same time as you also put several things at risk. So I would always suggest to stay away from collateral or security um, type of loans. And that's just because, you know, especially if you're new in this industry, you want to be able to make sure that you can make that solid, sound decision. Um, for collateral or security loans, um, I would do that if, let's say, you're established, you can actually run the business, you see room for growth, and you need an extra amount of money to be able to um, expand your organizations as much as possible. So think about this as maybe Shark Tank type of a situation where you know you would have to pay something um, and put a collateral, or put the equity in there. Now, the small business loans, SBA offers numerous loan programs to assist small businesses. It is important to note, however, that the SBA is primarily a guarantor of loans made by private and other institutions and does not offer loans to small businesses. An SBA loan gives the bank a second source of repayment. However, the financial institutions often uses the same or similar loan criteria for both SBA loans and traditional commercial bank loans as well. So I hope this really gets to you guys and just gives you guys a basic rundown um, of how you can actually seek financing for your um, startup that you're trying to put together. I always say, you know what, one of the best ways to start up a, a small business, a you know home-based business or a personal business is to give what we call sweat equity, right? Sweat equity is where you really put your blood, sweat, and tears into an or into a company to be able to make sure it becomes successful. And so that's why I'm like, you know, what are you willing to do to be able to start your companies? A lot of people out there say, well, it's going to take thousands of dollars to be able to start a company. And I will tell you that it will not. I mean, it does not really. If you can take, if you start a home-based business, that right there takes care of a lot of things. You know, for five thousand dollars, you should be able to get your insurances set. You know, set apart. You just need to increase a little bit your monthly um, insurance for your your car if you need to. Um, and then, you know, for under five six thousand dollars, you should be able to start a home care company at the comfort of your home. If this is how you want to be able to start things off, in the end, it's about you really working hard for your company and really marketing itself out there and making those decisions. You know, if you cannot hire somebody to be able to do the marketing for you, you yourself should do it yourself. Know how it runs so that when you bring somebody else in, you can actually show them the ropes. And that's why we do the 10xpatientreferrals.com because we show people everything that they need to know to be able to learn how to market their company. Now, always understand home health marketing is easy when you know what you're doing. And so if you have any questions, give us a call. 630-340-8990 or just give us an email or stop by one of our websites. Our goal here is to be able to help you create a successful business, start your own home care company, or to be able to learn how to market your services out there. Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and I just want to say thank you for joining us on this quick video. My intentions for today is to be able to get you guys to start using our online marketing university. The intention here is to be able to have you guys make sense of why joining our online learning platform is what's going to be able to create success for your agency, okay? And we want to be able to give you all information that you need to create success. A lot of agencies nowadays are having problems how to be able to get more referral sources, how to be able to get their current referral source to give them more patients, how to go after past referral source that you lost to another agency, how to be able to increase your revenue, right? A lot of agencies are closing down nowadays, and our intention is to be able to give you all the knowledge that we share with clients of ours that pays us thousands of dollars to be able to manage their marketing team and their agency. So we're reaching out to home health agencies. These are the skilled nursing agencies, right, that, that bills Medicare and insurances and Medicaid. Then we also want to reach out to the non-medical, the caregiving and homemaker agencies, and especially hospice agencies as well. And we definitely want to be able to have owners, administrators, especially marketers and liaisons for companies to be able to take this online program, an online platform that's going to give you everything, all the knowledge you need to be able to create success in marketing your company. Remember, marketing your agency Selling your services is 100% of your revenue and is in charge of pretty much paying your salary, paying your employee salary, pay, paying your 
co-worker salary. This is what we have in our online university. We're showing you how to be able to create your target market, how to be able to look out into the into the area that you're in, figure out who are the right targets you need to be able to hit, who are the ones you should be visiting, who should you be following up with. We're going to show you how to create a sales process. If, you're, if you are a company that does not have a sales process, that does not understand a business cycle, this video is important for you. Right? When you guys admit patients in your company, you guys have an admission process. Right, And if somebody skips something, if somebody shortcuts something, things may fall through. Same exact thing when you're marketing your company. You can't just go out there and think things are going to happen naturally. Okay, So we're going to show you how to do the sales process, how to do your presentation properly. What are the mistakes that you're going to be facing? Right, Because we all make mistakes, but guess what? We've made mistakes ourselves. Right, My, For me, for example, I made a lot of mistakes in marketing, but I figured out how to be able to handle that so that I don't do it again. Or if it does come up, how can I actually solve it faster? How to handle objections. You guys heard it all. We don't have time to meet with you. We are, we are already working with another agency. Oh, you know what? I don't have any patients that needs home health. Yet, you know for a fact that that doctor just took care of another patient that had home health services. How to be able to learn how to get into the front of the nursing homes, into the hospital's preferred provider list, the do's and don'ts of marketing. You know, how to be able to find out different marketing strategies. What should I be giving out to people? Should I have lunch and learns? Should I not have lunch and learns? How much should I spend in a marketing target? Cold calling scripts. A lot of us don't even want to cold call. People are saying cold calling is dead. The reason why people say don't make cold calls because they themselves have quit on making cold calls because they themselves have faced so many objections. But guess what? If you are able to create an appointment, you have a 70% chance of getting that business than walking in cold by yourself live, okay? So you guys have to understand, how do I handle a cold call? That's very much important. All these different series is available individually if you wanna purchase them. If you wanna purchase just the follow-up techniques, which we will show you guys a, a follow-up technique on how to be able to increase it, right? We're gonna show you guys Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, every single thing you need to do to be able to increase that potential referral source to refer patients to you guys. You can purchase that particular series by itself, that for $199, or we're going to share with you guys our membership platform, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about that, right? So like I said, you're going to have access to each one of these courses. You're going to be able to purchase these individually. But if you join our online marketing university, which we have a membership program that we're going to share with you guys in a few. Okay? So that's what we do at 10xpatientreferrals.com. This is a particular website right here, okay? When you go into that website, you're going to see three memberships, okay? Three memberships. We have our platinum, our silver, and our gold membership, okay? And so right now as we speak, okay, right now as we speak, we talked about our online, our, our boot camp that's coming up all over, right? So guess what? Be, by the end of, of 2018, we're going to remove a special thing that we're doing, okay? And so what we're doing is right here, right now. Platinum membership. You get full access on all the courses. If you purchase them individually, it's over $7,500 in value, okay? Just let you guys know, when you purchase a particular series, you only have access to that for a whole month, okay? So you're, if you want access to this every month so that you can keep on going back and learning, right? you would be paying $7,500 a month by just accessing those. But guess what? For a Platinum series, it's $149 a month. You have access to all of that. Plus, you get part of our quarterly mastermind meetings. That's a $3,000 value. And you also have access to us for one hour a month for coaching. Okay, That's a $2,500 value. And at the same time as we talked about our boot camp that we're having, you'll get one free ticket to any one of the boot camps that we're having. So separately, it all totally, it's about $9,500 worth of value. And you can access that for $149 a month. Now, things go down a little bit. If you just want to do our silver membership, um, what's going to happen is you get the full access and you get a one ticket to our boot camp events. But just to let you guys know, we are going to be taking out that boot camp 
take it soon once 2019 hits. So if you want to sign up, sign up right now to get that free ticket, okay? So right there alone, we suggest that to you guys. That's $79 a month. Now, if you want something in the middle, which most of our clients are using, it's just our gold membership. You get full access to the whole courses. You get one ticket to the live bootcamp, and you get the quarterly mastermind meeting available as well. So right there alone, we have so much information that we want to be able to give to you guys, and we want you guys to be able to access that right now. So you guys should definitely join. Like I said, I want you guys to be able to join this because this is what's going to create success. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, well, $149, that's a lot of money, Michael. I totally understand that. But guess what, guys? Let me ask this question for you guys. If I can show you, and with the techniques I give you guys, and you guys just get one patient by learning the tips, tricks, and techniques, one patient in a whole year, if you are a skilled nursing home, a skilled nursing home health agency, how much is one patient that's about three thousand to four thousand dollars that you're gonna get? as you know from medicare from their insurances depending on the billing right there alone it already paid for this particular item but our goal is not to get you one patient our goal is to be able to double your referral sources to increase it to increase your patient census that's what our main goal here for you guys is to be able to learn how to be able to handle gatekeepers how to get the appointments how to present correctly how to get physicians to start referring patients to you to get these social workers to start using your agency once again this is michael at home health success academy you have to understand agencies are having problems getting more referrals a lot of larger agencies are expanding opening up their own non-medical adding hospice to them. So this is a cutthroat industry we're in right now. And then the person that actually educates themselves and learns how to succeed is our one that's going to be able to succeed and beat the other competitions. And if you don't join this, guess what? Your competition is joining this. If you don't attend the boot camp, guess what? People around your area is going to be attending the boot camps that we're having. So like, for example, our event that's coming up in Lakeland, Florida, we actually have people coming in from Georgia, coming in from Tennessee. We have one person that signed up that's coming from, you know, North Carolina. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create these events to be able to create success for you guys. So make sure you guys sign up, whether it's our online learning platform or attending our boot camp, either or you should take this. This is amazing information that you guys should actually have your company. If you have any questions, contact us, 630-340-8990. Email us, info at homehealthsuccessacademy.com. But all the information is in our website, homehealthsuccessacademy.com. Our online learning platform is 10xpatientreferrals.com. If you have any questions, always know that home health is easy. Home health marketing is easy when you guys know what you're doing. This is Michael Echeverria. I look forward to seeing you guys in the boot camp. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the phone. Have a great day.